It's Pete from Cheap Homesteading. I'm in the woods today and we are going to do a little bit of a review on a still MS-180. This is the chainsaw I got at a garage sale for $20. Uh, I got it running and we're going to throw it online and sell it but I want to make sure that it's running good and I want to run it long enough to make sure that it's a good saw for someone to buy. I would feel really bad if I sold something to someone and then it stopped running or something happened to it. So we're going to run it for about 20-30 minutes pretty much straight and uh, then I'm going to tell you what I think of this saw. Okay so this is the road to the bee yard and there is a whole lot of dead trees along the path. This tree here has fallen over and I've been driving under it and you're kind of just waiting for the thing to land on the truck. So I'm going to cut them all up and there should be quite a bit of firewood in here. So I am actually pretty impressed with this thing. Uh, this little saw works pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to trade it for my other saw, but uh, if you get the revs up before you go into the wood, it's surprising how much power it really does have for a very small saw. We're going to keep on cutting some logs up and we're going to see how, uh, how well it does and maybe a bit bigger wood. So what do I think of the Steel MS-180? I think it's absolutely uh, an incredible saw for its size. It starts great. It has lots of revs. Uh, you go and you cut into a fairly decent sized log. If you allow it to cut through it without pushing too hard and you keep the revs up in the saw, it cuts pretty quickly for sure. Um, where it falls apart is if you push a little bit too hard and the revs drop in the saw, um, it, it slows way down. So if you keep the revs up uh, and allow the chain to cut, it cuts really good. Uh, it starts wonderfully. This saw starts incredible. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. Um, it takes nothing to start. It, they, they start really nice. Uh, so really, I don't see any real downsides to it, except the CCs. I like a bigger saw. But if you wanted a saw to throw on your four-wheeler or a limbing saw, this is a pretty good little saw. Um, but it is more of a homeowner around their house cutting some trees kind of saw. It's not, um, 
It's not like a saw you'd use to actually cut firewood because you really need a bigger saw than this. But for its size, I'm pretty impressed with it. So now that I know this thing runs really, really good, uh, I am going to throw this online and we're going to sell it, uh, knowing that the saw is a pretty decent saw. So you guys have a good one.